the Lord, my Lord, the mightiest, mightiest prophets of the Lord. Amen. Uh, blessed people, I know that uh, by this time, all the regular Sunday services, all the regular services that you heard, the station of this Sunday today have come to an end. And uh, this is a very tremendous day that is ahead of us here. And uh, as I speak with you now, blessed people, we are going to transition into the healing service. It is going to be a tremendous moment, a shocking moment. It's going to be a moment of wonder because the Lord Yahweh has spoken with me about the coming of the Messiah. And so at this hour, the Lord is sending His glory, His anointing, His power to prepare the nations for the glorious coming of the Messiah. I see many, many nations are tuned in. And I just want you to know that there is no special limitation. In other words, there is no limitation to space as to how far the long outstretched arm of the Lord can reach. I know people are assembled in many African countries. They are tuned in in Europe, in the United States, all over the world, Australia. Regardless of the time zone, this is a very blessed time in the history of the church. The Lord Jehovah has spoken with me about the glorious coming of the Messiah. And I know there are guests also in the house. In the 87th stadium, there are people who have come for the first time. They have not seen this before. It is astounding to them. It is shocking to them. But it's good to receive you in the house of the Lord. It's better you begin now than late. The Lord is visiting the church in a very shocking manner. He is visiting the house of the Lord. And he is restoring the house. He has sent tremendous power and authority to restore worship. To return people back to righteousness, back to holiness. You know that the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14. That make every effort to live in peace with all men. And to be holy, for without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. So the Lord raises the benchmark and the standard of holiness. And he says, all these things are happening in order to grow your heart to the holiness of the Lord. Right in front of you here is a major visitation. I've seen it. I've seen many creepers get up. I've seen the lame. I've seen, even as I spoke with you in the morning, he slayed me here, I fell asleep. Then I saw the two prophets ministering, ministering before the Lord. This is a shocking time. This is the hour of visitation, the latter glory that was promised. And the Lord says this latter glory would be greater than the Pentecost, than the first rain. And I read from scripture here in the book of Matthew chapter 9, 35. And I repeat. And he says, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogue, preaching the good news of the kingdom, the good news of the coming of the kingdom of God. And then he says, and healing every disease and sickness. This is what Jesus is going to do tonight here. He is going to heal every kind of disease every kind of sickness, because this is the hour at which it is most beneficial to be born again. This is the hour at which the visitation that prepares the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah has been sent. And you see in Matthew chapter 4 verse 23, he repeats, he says, Jesus went throughout the Galil, which is inherited in Hebrew, teaching in their synagogue, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness among the people. And that tells you that the power of the blood of Jesus is beyond and above 
every disease and infirmity you see gathered near you there today, I am going to make a decree here today, and you'll see that everything around you is going to change. Things are going to change around you, it's going to uh, perplex you. You will be bamboozled and puzzled by the doing of the Lord. And that is the intention of the Lord that you may be shocked. And that when you are shocked, you may now ask more important questions about eternity. You may be drawn to wanting to know more about the Lord Jehovah Yahweh. And that you may want now to live a holier life. Again, I will make a decree here. And I know that the list is endless. The list I received from the Deputy Director of Medical Services, the one who has been coordinating all the doctors and the medical team that went throughout this nation, going to the villages and pulling out the cripples, pulling out people abandoned, those who are bedridden, speaking to them, documenting their conditions, those hospitals had given up on. That list is endless. It includes cripples, the blind, the deaf, the mute, the paralytics, the lame, spinal cord injuries, hydrocephaly, brain injuries, internal organs, renal failures, people with cancers, different kind of blood conditions, leukemias, hypertension, diabetes, people who have been promised amputation by different facilities in this country, People that had reached the end of the road, they are sitting in Kwakinyeshi. In other words, they, they, they are helpless. The director of medical services, the deputy director, Dr. Toromo Koche, who was in charge of this exercise with medical team across the country, he has placed the number to more than 15,000. But I have good news for you. But the blood of Jesus is still flowing. I am going to make a decree here. And the blood of Jesus will flow, will touch people. And some of you will feel fire, physical fire touch you. Why? Because the Lord is establishing at this hour, number one, that I am his servant. That these are the two prophets of ancient, these old prophets of the Bible have been brought to you for your benefit, that you may capitalize on the message they are disseminating, they're transmitting now, the message of repentance and the return to righteousness, the rejecting of sin and evil, rejecting of sexual sin, sexual art, rejecting corruption in the church, rejecting apostasy, the worldliness that you see has come in the dressing and the worship, you can see a big debate in the life of the believers today. You can see they are wavering, they are oscillating between salvation and the world, salvation and the world, in the way they dress the nudity. And so the Lord Jehovah, at this hour, is going to do a wonder, is going to call me to decree here, there is a big visitation ahead of us here. And it's going to be a wonder. But again, the purpose is one, that you may prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. There is no other reason for which the Lord has sent a lot of visitation. You can see already blind eyes have opened in Teso. The lame have walked in Kericho. The deaf are hearing. And it's going to happen all over this land. It does not matter Mombasa, Kilifi, Lodwa, Maralal. It does not matter whether Nyeri... Uh, Muranga, Pika, Kisumu, Kehancha, Senta, Isbania, Migori, uh, Kisinyamira, uh, uh, Narok, everywhere, Kericho, Sotik, Bobet, every single part, Busia, Nairobi. It will not matter now. So, blessed people, I know that you finish your services, I don't want to preach a message on you. But I want to simply emphasize that these things are happening that you may prepare the way, the anointed way, the glorious way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. The Lord has sent these two servants to awaken the nations, the church from slumber, and to hearken the church 
to the benchmarks of heaven, the standards of entry. What is the point inheriting the whole earth and then failing to enter the glorious kingdom of Yahweh? And so, in a short while, I'm going to decree here, I'll lift up my left prophetic hand towards heaven. And when I spoke within the morning, and then the Lord slayed me again here, so I've seen a lot of healing, I've seen people try to get up and walking and falling and walking and stabilizing. I've seen a lot of things ever since I spoke with you this morning. And some of you may be new to this, but welcome to the house of the Lord Jehovah. In this place, the power of the Lord is resident. The Holy Spirit is preparing the nation. And I know there are people gathered globally. I am addressing you too. It doesn't matter your time zone. I see a lot of cities in China. They are gathered in their largest numbers. Australia, United States, the rest of Africa, Europe, South America. The island, it does not matter where you are. I am addressing you too. That we may prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And I say that right now I am going to begin the healing service. And I'm going to make a decree here and everything will change even in your nation. Not just for Kenya. This is not a Kenyan event. Kenya just so happened to host the two prophets. So they have the advantage. But anybody and everybody can partake of this massive anointing today and be set free. And so right now, as we slowly enter into the healing service, I want to say this. That many times, probably you've gone to hospitals and doctors have decreed. Doctors have pronounced their position on your condition. Some of them have called it chronic. They may have called it little, 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 terminal, you know, you know, you know. They said you inherited, 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 inherited. Or may you, 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 whether crippled, blind, deaf, or mute, or paralytic, lame, cancer, tumor, what? Renal failures, heart condition, brain tumors. It will not matter any moment from now, just a few minutes from now. It will not matter at all again. What the doctors have said, or what the name of your condition is, or how painful it is, or how much suffering you've gone through. But one and one thing will matter. One and only thing will matter now. That the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blood of Jesus is still flowing at Calvary. The blood is still. Maybe hydrocephaly looks too much for you when your children are big heads. But there is nothing too much for the blood of Jesus. This is the good news I bring to you today, blessed people. And that's why this is such a coveted church, a coveted generation, that you can live to see this hour. And so, blessed people, wherever you are, in the 87th stadium, Tuned in now, listening to me, in great anticipation, I now, at this moment, lift up my left prophetic arm towards heaven. I have now lifted up my left prophetic hand towards Jehovah Yahweh, God the Father himself, the Lord God. I have lifted up my left prophetic hand towards heaven. And I decree this now, mighty Father, I ask you, my Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the creator of all these people tuned in globally, what an awesome time, what a new breath you brought into the church, Jehovah. 
As I lift up my left prophetic hand towards you, Jehovah, my friend, I decree now that from this moment on, let the blood of Jesus flow over the 87th stadium and all the nations that are tuned in, all those gathered even abroad, those with ailments, infirmities, disease, disability, and sicknesses, the list is endless, Jehovah. But I thank you for the blood of Jesus. And as I lift up my left prophetic hand before you are counseled, Jehovah, I now decree with my sharp and terrible prophetic tongue that right now, the crippled weak leg, I ask you to listen to the words of my tongue. I decree now that strength enter the crippled leg and power enter the fiber of the weak leg, crippled and shriveled, and that now the crippled legs be strengthened and let the crippled get up and begin walking everywhere across this nation. 87 stadium, Jehovah. That let the crippled legs, the bones be strengthened. I command you crippled legs now to be strengthened, receive strength. Receive power. Even the muscles and the nerves. I speak to you today. And and by the power of the blood of Jesus that my tongue is trumpeting today. Mighty Father, I also decree that blind eyes pop open, literally pop open across the entire nation. Blind eyes pop open and deaf ears pop open in their largest number. Cripples walk, crippled babies, crippled boys and girls and children and adults, people born crippled, that they may now rise up by the power of the blood of Jesus and walk. I release the healing and anointing of the Lord from my left prophetic hand towards all the 87 stadiums and beyond the nation and command the crippled legs to get up and walk today. In large numbers, learn to walk, walking and falling and stabilizing, learning how to stabilize, to balance. And I command with my sharp prophetic tongue that the blind eyes pop open. Listen to me, blind eyes. I speak to you, blind eyes, now. I command you with my prophetic tongue to pop open that you may begin to see light. The deaf ears pop open and become sensitive and mark. Blind eyes open and mark. The mute tongues be loose and mark. The lame legs be strengthened and stretched and mark. Even columns of legs may be added. The people that are paralytic begin to be made whole. To realize strength. To behold the strength of the blood of Jesus. And get up and walk. The dead limb, numb leg, gangrene, where the muscles and the nerve fibers are died, I command you the nerve fibers to be restored. That the limb may walk, paralytic may walk, those with stroke may get up and be made whole. The tumors dissolve, that the knees that were broken, that were for amputation, now be restored. Even new cuts, broken bones, broken skulls. Lunatic be made complete and whole, restored and sound in mind. Bleeding diseases stop, wounds dry up, cancers dry up, tumors dissolve, even brain cancers disappear. Hallelujah. I commend leukemia to dry up from your blood, HIV AIDS to dry up, that the doctors may examine and find negative, negative, no virus forever, that you may step out of ARVs. That you may now leave because Jesus he leaves. The Messiah is coming. I commend every condition, hydrocephaly, the kidney condition, those with dialysis going on every week.
kidney failures, heart conditions, they spleen, the liver, the intestine, throat cancer, every disease, mentally ill. I have lifted up my left prophetic hand toward Jehovah right now. And I decree this wonder today from here in Nairobi, many thousands of miles away, in the mighty name of Jesus, I have decreed that everybody everywhere now receive their healing. And right now the Holy Spirit is going to touch you across the entire nation. One of the wonders again. Going to touch people, you'll feel fire burning you. A massive fire will be all over there as the Lord begins this massive healing service. That many, many creepers will get up and walk today. Many, many blind eyes pop and open across the land. Many deaf ears pop open the hear for the first time and step out of the world of the silence. That their tongues may be loosened too to begin to say, Yes, Yes, Baba, Baba, Mama. Many paralytic walk, lame, abandon their crutches, abandon wheelchairs. People walk out of their mattresses, bedridden, even those in hospitals, tune in by radio. I decree this in the mighty name of Jesus. So blessed people right now, wherever you are, now the breath of God, I'll blow the breath of God, you'll feel fire across the entire land. As the Lord begins to restore his people. No matter the condition, mighty Father, I now release fire from my left prophetic hand, the hand of the Lord, the hand of God Yahweh. I now release fire over these people across the land, 87 stadium and abroad. <laughs> And let the fire of the Lord consume you now. Everybody now you can receive your healing. Let everybody now receive their miracle across the entire land of Kenya and abroad. Across Africa, South Africa, Botswana, wherever they are gathered. Namibia, Maputo, Nigeria, Abidjan, everywhere. Finland, Netherlands, every single country, South Korea, China, Australia, United States, the North American continent, Wolf, Ontario, all Canadian cities down, all the way to Virginia, Washington, all the way down to Santiago, Chile, even Concepcion, Chile, even New Zealand, blessed people, the island, Jamaica, the Caribbean, I have decreed now a massive healing anointing to visit you and the blood of Jesus to wash you and restore you from the pain, the suffering, the agony, the deplorable condition you have been through. I have decreed the mighty power of God, now release my hand and raise cripples, strengthen crippled legs, lame legs, pop open blind eyes, Hope open deaf ears, strengthen the legs that are paralyzed, paralytic. Restore every condition under the sun. I have decreed this in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Now you will see what will happen where you are. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Everybody now receive your healing, it's over. The Messiah is coming. The prayer is over. Now you will see the wonders around you. Shalom Toda, which in Hebrew means thank you.